Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Warner Brothers Discovery announcement came out today, and the gist of it is Dynamite and Collision are going to remain on Wednesday and Saturday. Rampage appears to be history, which we had thought. Dynamite and Collision is streamed live on Max if you're a U.S. subscriber. AW content that airs on any WB... It's also, also, on the West Coast, it will air live, so it won't be a three-hour delay like television. AW content that airs on any WBD network will also be available to stream on Max On Demand. And starting later in 2025, AW and w, uh, WBD will offer live pay-per-views on Max at a discounted price per event. Mm-hmm. So, but you have to subscribe. But you still have to subscribe to Max yes. every month. So you have to subscribe to Max, it's, and if you do, you get the pay-per-views on a discount. Yes, but it's essentially the UFC deal. So this is this was um, a lot of people are asking about this one. So the the basic gist of this is that um, you know WBD is is not looking at uh, losing more money, and the WWE deal, while it's great for the fans, it's a big money loser because um, you know um, uh, Peacock is spending like two hundred million dollars a year for something that is not. The value of two hundred millions a year, although it's the value, it is the value to them because they're paying it. But um, you know, they're not they're not recouping it in in that way. And and again, and WWE may even get more when this deals up in twenty twenty six because streamers are looking for WWE content. But in in the case of Max, you know, they're not looking at losing money by buying um, AW pay per view content. And then giving it away essentially for the price of a subscription. So I mean, it's 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 uh, the deal. I mean, I'm sure AEW without without a doubt would love to have the WWE deal. Anybody would have all that money guaranteed, way more than the market value, or way more than they were making on the pay per views themselves. Um, of course, they would do it. But uh, you know, I mean, WBD wasn't looking at doing it, so. If they are, I don't know what the what the actual thing is. My gut is considering the price of this deal, which is 185 million, 555 million over three years, 185 million a year, um, average 185 million a year. It starts lower. The middle year would probably be about that, and the third year would be up from that, and then the fourth year would be way up. Um, the base, so the, so that would include the um, the buying. I'm presuming it includes the buying of the pay per view in that in that figure. Um, so they want to recoup money. They don't want to just buy it, you know, and all that. So it's it's the UFC deal, but it was, um, you know, this was what WBD wanted from it. They didn't want the other deal because it wasn't economically feasible for them. Um, you know, they weren't looking to going into deficit spending for uh, for for that deal. All right. Well, uh, big question for me is, are all the archives up or going to be up? I be, I Can I go back so. five years ago and watch all of the dynamites in order? I, I I believe that they will be. Yeah, this won't be till January. I don't know that as a fact, but they're putting archival programming on, so there will be. I don't know if everything will be up, but there will be. You know, I I mean, I expect that everything will be up. Yeah, yeah, or most everything. Uh, but I'll I'll get that cleared up by the end of the week. All right. Well, apparently you've got a lot of questions, so yeah. let's get into them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I had a, like a little announcement I wanted to make, but maybe I'll just have to wait till the Garrett show for that. An announcement? Uh, well, no, just just like a lot of people, like a lot of dumb shits got really exposed. You know, when this. Oh no! Thing. Yeah, save that for the Garrett show. I mean, <laughs> save that one. Why? Why you don't want to? You don't want to? You don't want any heat from these people? Who well, deserve... no, but I've I've heard it multiple times. I mean, leading boy, up just... to it and today, yes. Yes. Well, I mean, look, that, you know, I've been sitting here playing punching bag for these clowns for years. And, you know, I mean, this was great. This was quite the week of vindication between that Vince McMahon documentary and this deal, you know, because um, and not for I mean, yes, for me, it was an even bigger vindication for Tony Khan. Not that like it's, it's even though they're completely different topics. I mean, the guy who spent five years, I guess I can talk about him. Um, the guy who spent five years with all these clowns calling him a money mark. And I mean, here's the thing. I, the guy, you know, it's like you can, there's, there's a lot that you can criticize Tony Khan about. I mean, obviously the promotion is not without its flaws, 
for sure you know i mean they've lost popularity and things like that that said from day one um this promotion was always um the goal was always to make money it was not just some you know like rich kids you know like playing fantasy wrestler or anything like that fantasy wrestling book or anything i mean it was built the day that this company was first an idea was came from a conversation that Tony Khan had with Kevin Riley in 2000 and uh, I think it was April or whatever it was it was in um, 2018 and they were at a party and Kevin Riley was talking about all the money WWE they, they were in talks when this is not the current WWE deal with the deal before the one from five years ago then and what they were negotiating for Smackdown what they were negotiating for for raw and everything and was telling Tony Khan basically how much money WWE was looking at getting. I guess they were interested in it as well and how big it was. And, and it was just kind of in the conversation. Essentially, Tony Khan was just like, you know what? I mean, there's some really, there's some key free agents out here, you know, um, in, in spe you know, specifically speaking of um, Omega and uh, Jericho coming off of the, the Tokyo Dome, which was ex essentially the match that spawned AEW um because of how much interest it got and that they were both free agents or would be free agents at the end of the year and then the young bucks obviously had done very very well and cody rhodes and cm punk of course he wanted from the start as well and so he thought you know it's, it's a viable thing to start a company and it was based on the idea that they could get that they could make money on television rights because look at how much WWE would get and they went through a couple of years and money losses, you know, which a lot of businesses do and they could afford it, you know, and but the long term goal was always to make this thing profitable. So at the end of the day, here we are. And with this deal, uh, this is going to be the second most profitable pro wrestling company in the history of pro wrestling. And all of these people that and, and it's like, I'm not saying you should have figured that much out, but in the last year, you know, it, it kind of was leaning this way. And it, even if it wasn't going to be the second most profitable company in the history of pro wrestling, it would end up being profitable, which once you're profitable, the term money mark goes out the window. So anyway, this is like complete vindication. Jericho actually went on the show and uh, basically, I mean, it was almost like he was reading my mind with that line about... Boy, did all these experts come off as being really stupid and out of touch. I don't know if you used those words, but but they were. Um, because it's not like this came out of nowhere. We've been talking about this for months. I've been telling people. I've been telling them. I go like, you better freaking pivot because you're going to look like fools if this deal comes in the way it looks it's going to come in. And none of them could stop. They're so deep into it. They've been lying to their uh, podcast listeners for God knows how long, or or they're just dumb shits. But I think the I think in most cases, um, I mean they're out of touch. They're out of touch. Maybe lying, maybe not, but but out of touch. And you know I'm trying to get them in touch, and man, they just they just were too smart to, to to learn. And there's man when you're too smart to learn, you're you're dumb as shit. So anyway, um, that's. There's a lot more to that, but anyway, I did want to get that off my chest. Um, and let's go through some of these questions. Okay, so it looks like the deal is $185 million a year. Uh, AW, uh, um, how profitable does this make the company? And what does, uh, this is from Terry, Tyler England, and what does this have to do with um, all these extra resources? I know that uh, he's a big player in the free agent market. Are there any free agents that can help turn business around? I mean, they have, you know, as far as how profitable, it depends largely on how much he wants to reinvest. And there's a lot of places that they can they can strengthen up the front office. Some people have actually had some good advice on things that they could be done. Um, yes, they, they can they can afford this roster now. Um, so as far as the idea of overpaying, while it is more than you know. Salaries of wrestlers is going to go way up because there will be they they because this company now has has the ability to pay a lot more. WWE has the ability to pay a lot more, and um, 
a top wrestler when you know i would tell like any top wrestler man get the, get the shortest contract possible because uh over the next couple of years um if you're good uh the demand for your services is going to be very very high um so so um you know as far as yes they can they can afford a, they can afford a lot as far as like what the profit margin will be it kind of depends on um how much they want to invest back in i mean they were it's it's there's not like a but it's going to be like again with this deal it's it's super profitable you know not wwe profitable not ufc profitable but more profitable than any other wrestling company in history by far um and this will be the next year if that's things at 185 um you know we're talking about a, a total gross of you know somewhere between 275 and 300 million and that's not including a potential fox deal that is still on the table um and and you know in talks um as far as like will it will it happen or won't happen i don't know if it does happen um most likely it would be a tuesday or a thursday um just based on fox's ratings and the other days are just bad i mean sunday he ain't gonna go against the nfl monday you're going against Roth's suicide Wednesday, you already got Dynamite. Um, Friday, you'd be going against SmackDown. That's bad. That would be suicide, too. So you got Tuesday and Thursday. And the Tuesday is interesting only because it's be going against NXT. And AW, if, if you had AW on, a fo on Fox on Tuesday, if this were to happen, and NXT is on CW, that's a big freaking edge for an AW show. Um, but... It would be a worse night because you are splitting the audience somewhat. Thursday would probably be for for AW and Fox. Thursday would be the best night to go, and and it'd be makes sense because you would tape Wednesday and you would tape Thursday, and then maybe um, you know, on one of those days you could do the collision um, maybe on the Thursday, uh, um, because um, yeah, that actually makes sense to do it something like that. Um, let's see, has there been any indication for eight when AEW's UK and Canadian deals expire, and is AW happy with um, remaining on ITV in the UK? Would they look to have their uh, pay-per-views streamed on the ITV streaming app? Um, I don't expect any changes as far as um, the pay-per-view business in the UK. Um, I think that's going to be mostly Triller like it is now. Triller, pay-per-view.com, pay YouTube, you know, pay-per-view. Um, as far as ITV... I mean, the the WWE deal, which is up at the end of the year, is on TNT Sports. These, you know, WBD does own TNT Sports. They are losing their wrestling, um, which has been a big part of the station when it used to be um, BT Sports for years. Um, it makes all the sense in the world um, for them to be interested in a wrestling component. That's not to say, I don't know what will happen there. Um, the advantage of being on TNT Sports is that they would air live, um, but that would also do away with the, um, you know, the AEW Plus thing, you know, which, you know, broadcasts it commercial free on a paid subscription basis in the UK. But getting on television probably, um, I mean, they, I suppose that they, I don't know, I don't know how that would work because um, if they're on TNT Sports, um, would that be allowable to TNT Sports to have this thing streamed with no commercials? And you're you're paying for something that people can get a better version of. Um, so there's that there's that deal. You know, with ITV, it's a couple days later, and and it, it's it is what it is. Um, it's also a station that a lot more people would get. So there'd be more viewers on ITV four, but it's not live. Um, so you know, and then maybe. You know, would TNT Sports pay more than ITV4? Uh, that's a probable, but it's not a sure thing. So anyway, I don't know the answer to that, and I don't know if anyone does because I don't think that that those deals are are up. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.